Hey, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to start our first project inside of HitFilm, and we'll also go ahead and bring in some video and audio files so that we can begin editing. Let's get started. I'm going to go down and click on HitFilm. We're going to open it up. And in this tutorial, we're using HitFilm Express 13. We'll start a new project by going to the top left hand corner, clicking new. And it, it defaults with a template of 1080p, full HD at 30 frames per second. This project we are going to edit at 24 frames per second. We are editing at 24 frames per second because the cameras that we use for this project, we had them set up to record at 24 frames per second. Now, most smartphones, Android and Apple alike, nine times out of 10, they're gonna record at 23.976 frames per second. So you would probably wanna start a project with this setting in mind whenever we're filming with cell phones. But the question that often comes up is, well, what happens if I choose the wrong setting at the beginning and then I try and bring in footage that doesn't correspond to those settings? Am I up a creek. No, you are not up a creek. In fact, you have some paddles to work with. So HitFilm has some safety nets in place to make sure that you don't make any mistakes along the way. So if let's say that you set up a project for 24 frames per second, and then you try and bring in some cell phone footage that was actually shot at 23.976 frames per second. Well, whenever you bring that footage in, HitFilm is going to say, whoa, 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 slow down there, Slick. This is the wrong frame rate. And it will give you two options. The first option would be move forward as if nothing's wrong. The second option is, hey, we noticed that you uploaded some footage that doesn't correspond with your project settings. Would you like us to update your project settings for you? And you would click OK and you would move forward as if nothing was wrong because nothing is. So don't worry if you're not 100% certain what kind of format you should start your project at. HitFilm has safety nets in place to catch you so that you don't fall. But for this project, because I know we filmed at 24 frames per second, we're going to go ahead and select this setting. So we'll click on this. The duration is fine. We can change that in the project. All the other settings look good. We're going to go ahead and click OK and get started. So here we are on our home page and let's go ahead and bring in some files. So whenever we bring in files to HitFilm, we are going to be bringing them in to our media panel, which is over here on the top left hand corner of our HitFilm user interface. Now there's a number of ways we can bring in files, but before we get into that, I want to replicate the folder structure of where we store our files on our computer. I want to replicate that folder structure here. So let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and put this on one side of the monitor. And let's open this on the other side. So right now you should be able to see our folders from the desktop on the left hand side and the hit film user interface on our right hand side. I'm going to hover my mouse over between the media panel and the control panel and you can see a double edged arrow form whenever I hover over that gray line. If I click with my mouse and drag it'll make my media panel a little bit larger. That'll help me better organize my files as I continue to drag them in. I'm going to open up my media folder and I see that I have animations, audio, graphics, pictures, and video. I want to replicate this folder structure over here. Now, if you're going to eventually use a nicer piece of software and by nicer, I usually mean more expensive. An example would be DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere Pro. What those programs allow you to do is you can highlight all of these and drag and drop them over and it will replicate the folder structure for you so you stay organized on both ends. However, HitFilm does not give you that option. As you can see, whenever I try and drag everything over, 
I get this no ghost symbol or maybe it's a no smoking symbol, the red circle with a line through it. Basically telling us, hey, you can't do this. And if I let go of my mouse, nothing happens. So what we need to do, we need to replicate this over here. So we can create folders a number of different ways. I'm gonna show you several of them. First of all, you can right click in your media panel, new folder. And let's call this one animations. Once again, you can right click new folder and we'll call this one audio. Another way we can do it is come down here and there's a new folder button. We're going to click on that and we'll call this one graphics. Again, we're just replicating what we have over here in our HitFilm user interface. I'm going to click on new folder again. We'll call this one Pics. And we're going to go back to the original way, which is right click new folder. And this one will be called video. So we've successfully replicated this folder structure inside of our HitFilm user interface. But if you go inside each of these fold folders, as you recall, like for example, inside of the video folder, we have additional folders. We're gonna replicate those over here as well. And we can do that, once again, a number of different ways. So we can highlight the video folder inside of HitFilm. We can click new folder, and it creates a new folder inside of the video folder. We'll call this one B-roll. We can also click on video, right click, new, folder, and we'll call this one elements. So there's that. And we're gonna do that for each of, the each of the other folders. So let's go look at our pics folder. So pics is empty and so is pics empty here. Under graphics, we have logos. So let's go ahead and create a new folder inside of our graphics folder. We'll call this one logos. Let's look at our audio. So underneath audio, we have three folders. We have music, sound effects, and voiceover. We're gonna create those inside of our audio folder inside of HitFilm. New folder, music, highlight folder, right click, new folder, sound effects, highlight folder, right click, new folder, voiceover and under animations we have a couple of them we, well, we have titles and then we just have other animations so I'll tell you what let's go ahead and just right click and we're gonna make a new folder here and we're just gonna call this one other and let's go ahead and drag these in just to keep things nice and neat and organized we're gonna go under animations click on the new folder button We'll call it other. And we're gonna click on new folder and we'll call it titles. And looks like we made it, we had a little accident. We created a we created the titles folder inside of our other folder. When in fact it should be inside of our animations folder. It's very easy to remedy this. Just click and drag into our animations folder. Release the mouse button, and now it's right where it needs to be. So, we have everything that we need. We've got the two folders we need under animations. We have other and titles, which matches over here. We have the three folders inside of audio, music, sound effects, voiceover. Music, sound effects, voiceover. Under graphics, we have logos. Under graphics, we have logos. Pictures, there's nothing inside this folder. Pictures over here is empty as well. And under video, we have B-roll and elements. Under video, we have B-roll and elements. Let me go ahead and rename this so that it corresponds with the S. And now we have a nice and neat folder structure. Now that took us a couple minutes to create. And that's definitely not something I want to do every time I create a new project. 
So what we can do right now to save us time on future projects is we can save this HitFilm project as a template. Let's go ahead and maximize this screen. We'll move this back over so that everything looks good. And we are going to go to File, Save As. And we are going to go inside of our Video Editing Workshop project under Project Files, under Hit Film. And we're going to save this as Hit Film Project Template. We'll hit save. And now what that's done is it saved this project and it saved it with this folder structure. So what you can do in the future on your future projects is instead of creating a new project from scratch and having to recreate your animations folder, recreate audio, and do all that organization, you can just start, you can just open this template project and it will have all these folders created for you automatically. But before you start bringing in additional video files for your project, you will want to save it as your current project. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go to File, Save As, and there's our template. We're going to call this one HitFilm Workshop Project and save. Now I'm just going to drag this over and inside of our video editing workshop project folder, inside of our project files hit film folder, we have two hit film project files. We have the template, which is the one that we created, and then we have the hit film workshop project and this is the one we're working on right now. So to conclude this lesson, let's go ahead and bring in all of our media files so that we can begin editing, editing in the next lesson. So to make it easy, we're going to have hit film on one side of the screen and our folder on the other. Inside of media and animations, we have our other folder. Let's highlight these and we're just going to drag them right on over. And there it is. We're going to bring our titles over. We have five of them. Drag them into our titles folder inside of HitFilm. And uh-oh, we're getting a problem here. It's an exclamation point, and it's even telling us how to solve the problem. To solve the problem, we need to install QuickTime. So what we'll do is we're going to hop over to Google Chrome, you can use Internet Explorer, Safari, whatever you like. And let's just do a quick search for QuickTime install. And I'm on Windows 10, so I'm going to go ahead and save myself a step and click on Windows 10. And I'm going to install QuickTime 7.7.9 for Windows. Okay, download. So very often in the world of video editing, you're going to run up at, you're going to run up against some brick walls. And this would be one of those brick walls where, oh, why isn't this file being recognized by HitFilm? And it's because QuickTime is not installed. So a lot of video editing is troubleshooting and trying to figure out a way to smash through those brick walls when you encounter them, climb over them or sidestep around them. So this instance all we had to do was install QuickTime. But in the future, just know that being a good video editor is a lot of the time understanding like, how do I troubleshoot this? How can I get around this problem creatively? So now that QuickTime is installed, let's see if we can drag these files in and have them be recognized by HitFilm and they are not being recognized. 
Let's go ahead and save our hit film project. Control S. We're going to close it. I'm going to reopen hit film. And I have a good feeling now that we've closed it and reopened it, it's going to recognize these files. We will open hit film workshop project. Let's highlight these files once more, drag them to titles, and look at that. So very often whenever you either install a new piece of software, as we did in this case with QuickTime, and sometimes whenever you install a new font, your HitFilm Express software won't recognize the new fonts, the files, or the changes you've made to your system until you've restarted the HitFilm software. So now that we've restarted the HitFilm software, it's actually taking in those files. So we've got our animation files in. Now let's go to audio. Okay, now we have our music. Drag and drop. And there's our music files represented by waveforms. Go back to audio and sound effects. We've got several of these to bring in. Drag them into sound effects. And there they are. We don't have any voiceover, so we're good to go there. Graphics and logos. We have one individual logo. Click and drag that. Bring it in. We have no pictures to bring in. And now we have our video. Let's bring our talking head video into the video folder. Elements. We'll bring in our distortions. Let's go into our lens flare. We'll drag and drop this one. And we'll also drag our glitches and place them in our elements folder. There they are. And B-roll, we've got a number of clips. We'll drag those into our B-roll folder. And there's all of our footage. So uh, now that we've got all of our footage in, I'm gonna close my Windows Explorer. We're gonna maximize our hit film program. And I'm going to show you one last thing before we call it a day for this lesson. So I'm looking at all the files we brought in and you have to scroll down to be able to see everything. Now for me, I like to have everything easily accessible and easily viewable. But with that being said, I don't really need to see visually <laughs> what these files are. Like, I know these are music files. I don't need to see that there's an audio waveform there. Um, I know these are stock video clips. I don't necessarily need to see a thumbnail of what each one is. So in the interest of saving space, I can go up here and I can change my view. So I'm gonna go to list mode. I'm gonna click this. And now everything is a little bit easier for me to see. And if this is still too much, I can close out each folder. And make it nice and neat. So that's the end of this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and start bringing in our video files and begin the editing process in our editor panel. I'll see you in a bit.